I really want to show you guys this Town Hall 7 base. I've had a lot of success at this Town Hall 7 base. Had a lot, a lot of success. I went to 22,250 trophies, I believe, with, with ease, with ease, attacking like twice a day, and that was about it. And trophy pushing was really, really easy. And as you guys can see, I have full loot at this level. And I, I have upgraded to Town Hall 8, actually, as you guys can see right here. And um, once I upgraded to Town Hall 8, I saw a lot of Town Hall 9s attacking me. So the base doesn't really work against a Town Hall 9. A Town Hall 7 versus a Town Hall 9 is never going to work. I actually am upgrading one of these uh, cannons because I had so much loot left over. Um, but I just want to talk about this Town Hall 7 build and why it's the best in my opinion. So first off... Uh, if you are a Town Hall 7 and you have all your walls done, I highly suggest building this. Now, let's say you don't have the Air Sweeper yet. What I My original build was this, where I actually had the Dark Elixir right in there in that little cubby. Um, so if you don't have the Air Sweeper yet at Town Hall 7, don't worry about it. Just throw your Dark Elixir in there. And then once you upgrade your, your Air Sweeper, throw that bad boy in there. And um, that's honestly what I've been doing. And uh, I saw a lot of success with this base. Um, not too many people have three starred this base. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I only had like one Town Hall 8 three star this base. Town Hall 9s, I think one got 90%. That was like the worst a Town Hall 9 did against me, against me with a queen. So, I mean, this base is really, really solid and it's really hard for other Town Hall 7s to uh, destroy this base. Now, if they're using dragons, I think they could do it, to be honest. Maybe, maybe not. Um, the weakness to this base, and I'm going to throw this out there for you guys if you ever want to learn. Um, how to defeat a base like this and by the way this is my opinion this is the best town hall 7 i use i wish i had some replays for you guys but i pushed all the way to uh 20 uh, crystal 2 i'll just say crystal 2 i pushed all the way to crystal 2 and i mean in gold and stuff like that nobody messes with my base at all and if they do they do giants and if they're a really good solid player they'll do giants and healers and the first thing they'll do is take out this air defense they'll go through this little spot they'll call in their giants um, blow up this little wall and take out this first air defense because once you take out this first air defense the healers are practically free to run through this entire base now with the new air sweeper I have it pointed at this direction and if you guys didn't know this they actually like turn when somebody is attacking they keep turning they'll, they'll just keep rotating 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 so it doesn't really matter where you put it they'll rotate and they'll push it off and I think that's why in this area right here if they don't come for this air sweeper, it's going to keep brushing them back and blowing them back, the, the, the healers. So maybe the giants will die. I'm not too sure. I haven't really had any town hall like seven or eights attacking me in a long time. Uh, but I think it protects this air defense really well, or it, it protects one of the air defenses fairly well. And it makes it makes the player make a decision. Do I want to take out the air sweeper now, or do I want to try to get this, get this air defense first and then maybe work on the air defense uh, or see how my healers are going to do it, etc.? Um, also, if you guys notice, I'm not in a clan when I do this on this Town Hall 7 base. Um, and the reason for me, I don't really like to be in clans because a lot of people like to do clan wars and shit. And, um, to be honest with you guys, I hate doing clan wars. I've never done a clan war, so I really just hate them in general. So, I don't know. But if you look at my clan castle, I have troops. And what I highly suggest when you do this Town Hall 7, if you guys are in a clan or if you're not in a clan, I prefer going clanless. And what I do... As I go to my clan, I hit the I button, and I have some bookmarks. And if you notice all the names of these bookmarks, wreck and go, wreck and get the fuck out, wreck and go.com, wreck and DTFO, request and get the fuck out, request and war. I bookmark all the really, really good donator clans, and I'll just join their clan whenever I need troops. And let's say if I go AFK or leave my, leave my base over the night, I always have my clan castle filled. And a lot of times people will attack and not realize that I have clan castle troops, which, which gives me... The um, gives me a little surprise. It, it gives them a little bit of surprise. It makes the makes the attack a little bit more difficult. If that makes any sense to y'all. So I really, 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 really like doing that, and I really like this town hall uh, seven base. Very symmetrical. Actually, probably as symmetrical as you can get it. And um, I really, really enjoy this base. So if you guys want to try to copy this base layout, I highly suggest doing it. Um, just focus on the defenses, and then all the other buildings like the uh, like. The barracks and stuff like that you really can just throw them wherever you you feel like them but i really do enjoy this this base and i really enjoy this this um this layout it's really really solid you have all your elixir spread out now a lot of a lot of the times when i see the like a town hall 7 base they all have them like grouped in together and what this does really really well about it is it block each each elixir has its own little set of walls so they have to break those if they're using giants or if they're using barbs 
And another good thing is that the splash damage covers pretty much the entire base. And it's really, really hard for archers to get in there. And um, you got the wizard towers on both sides. And you got this, this. You got your two archer towers. And it's just a really solid base in my opinion. And one of the reasons why you, I like this base so much is, like I said, the splash damage is mostly in the middle, which is, makes it really, really hard to get. And then you have the archer towers out here. They cover all the outside buildings. So that makes it even more difficult. You can't just go and pick off certain buildings. The archer towers covers all those buildings, which makes it really, really hard um, to attack against, in my opinion. So if you guys are looking for a solid Town Hall 7 base, just copy this exact build that you guys are watching right here. And um, this layout is super, super solid. So hopefully you guys enjoy my best Town Hall 7 base. And um, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Peace out, Slowback. Bye.